I asked him this question. I'd like to ask you, and and I, I he um he uh-huh. talked about in his book um just there was a time where he was getting bullied. Uh, you know, I think it was around kickball, and it's like you let a cripple beat you or something oh, like right, that. Right. And then, you know, I asked him, I said, you know, just he put in quotes in his book, like handicap or disabled or stuff, you know, around that. And he said, the only disability someone has is in their mind. He said, I just have different abilities. And I'm curious on, you know, your your frame around that, the idea of like disability or handicap versus this different abilities, like, so just how do you how do you navigate because it, the, what's what's politically correct like what it, or who cares about politically correct like what in your right. mind like what do what do what do we we say able bodied or you know full pulled together normal like what what is what does that even mean to us to people to society what does that mean to you and to Nick and to your family and like is, how do okay. you decipher that yeah so not in in a naive way or in ignorance um <clears throat> nick is just nick <laughs> and then it kind of ends there um the handicapped the disabled that all, all those um descriptions mm, i just i don't see it we just i don't allow that in i just mm-hmm. don't you know um when when i look at nick I'm, it's just nick um, he's the person. It's it's not the physical on the outside that is the person. And I just we really just really look at the person. Um, I I don't let um, I'm really easygoing. <laughs> I just don't really let that affect me. Because there is there's this global belief like it's like if they're this then they're that like if they don't have this then we label them as this and it's just like we try to put people into a box uh, right. in some way and label that box as this is what it is so therefore and in a, one part of the book that really got me pissed like I was so mad reading it uh, was <laughs> the, the neighbor like you had uh, Nick was playing right. and one of the neighbors like said like how dare you you know bring your allow your son to play with my kid like we don't we oh, don't yes. associate with handicapped kids or something like some okay. bogus stuff like what what the hell was that about because that's so what happened was um when our community first met like when our community first were was aware of Nick um his my son Mike went over to his friend's house um after winning a baseball game so we were at Mike's baseball game and that's when a lot of our neighbors um got to see Nick for the first time because I'm not the person that offers explanation it this is Nick that's it um the woman was from a different culture and she in her culture, um, she believed I must have done a heinous crime that my that God punished me um, by giving me Nick. Mm. And I was like, oh, my God. Um, I was angry. I was angry, be- not be- for me. I was angry because my son was not allowed to play with his friend because of this mom's culture and and an opinion that's what angered me um and i told her i feel so bad for you i feel so bad for you that you don't know um what it's like to to have faith and be loved by by a god that would never ever punish someone in this way so I pitied her but I was angry more for my child than I was that she said that to me Hmm. yeah thank you for 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 sharing that and (laughs) I I I got mad on behalf of everyone else reading that (laughs) thank you (laughs) you know but but beautiful beautiful response go ahead I think it's like you know not, not only were you not punished, you were blessed, right? And and that's the that's the that's the beautiful part of all of this is you know Nick was uh, 
an answer to prayer for you. And, uh, and now he's, <laughs> he's, he was a blessing to your family to start. And now he's blessing the world. Right. And we're all blessed. Um, by Thank the you. Um, walk me through this, uh, this story, right? Cause I almost couldn't believe it when I heard it about him cutting his arm off to start wrestling. Right. And, yeah. uh, you know, it's a, or at least to try to be better at wrestling and try to be competitive. <laughs> like how did you go about that process of making that decision and, and trusting him to kind of make that choice and work making that choice with him. Uh, Cause it seems like it's pretty extreme, right? So walk me through that. Well, first of all, <laughs> understand that raising Nick, um, I would walk in the door from work and would not be surprised of half the crazy things he's done or told me. So keep that in mind that um, the unexpected was always expected. I walk in the door. I'm like, okay, what do you have for me? <laughs> what happened? And what did you do today? Um, just a little, a uh, little story. So going back in when Nick was younger, we took him to um, other children's hospitals um, for suggestions. Okay, because we would do anything and everything to make sure that he had a great life. Okay. All the tools, anything you could think of, we were doing it. Um, I, I'm, I'm so thankful that Michael and I are such in tune to each other in agreement that we wouldn't allow them to physically alter his body until he was old enough to have an opinion. So that was, that was something that we set, we were set on early on. Yeah. So he, he, um, he wanted to be a wrestler. Um, and I was like, oh my God, Nick, he, 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 I, I want to wrestle now. Um, the bone was growing faster than the skin on his, on his little right arm. And if he banged it, the bone would come through. I was more concerned, not about the wrestling because my older son wrestled. I knew what it was. Um, I love to scream at matches. I'm all for that. Um, I was worried about, um, you know, um, causing more damage to his arm. And he was like, he sat there and he was like, okay, well, can we cut it off? I'm not surprised he asked to cut it off. I was just like, oh, you, you have to be careful with your words. It's amputate. Just, you know, you're it's so aggressive. <laughs> I was like, you know what? <laughs> if this is really one, it was hurting him regardless Okay, he always kept it tucked in, and I, um, it, it, it was painful to him. So, you know, let's take the focus away from something painful for you, and then we'll, we'll focus on the other. Um, so we, we made an appointment with the doctor, and um, we sat down for the discussion, but the ultimate decision was his. Okay, and were we scared and nervous? Absolutely. You know, praying and hoping that like, you know, this was a good decision and it wasn't going to come back to bite anybody in the ass. Um, so he, he, he was certain that doing this, um, was going to change his life for the better and sure living pain free. Um, what that, that, that was a, that would be a gift in itself. Mm. So was I simple? I'm not, I'm not surprised of what he does.